What's up guys, welcome to a new review. Today we're gonna review the Leon FR Plus. Now this is the Cupra that you saw in the car show. We're gonna jump into this model and just gonna quickly show you the uh, station wagon version or whatever you call it. So I do have the key uh, in front of me. You can get two sets of keys uh, with the set logo and uh, you can see the LED lights blink. Now, you have the FR badging on the front. You have the uh, full LED lights. You can see SAT Leon lights inside the cluster. Uh, sorry for the shaking. You have this aggressive looking sport bumper. This car is reserved. Uh, the FR is sold. Now, you can see the difference in the FR is the grill. It has a different shape rather than this one. Now you get the uh, sharp black mirrors. Uh, the top roof is black as well. Apologies for the interruption. So the old people always shout. Uh, so you get the nice back as well. Uh, get two exhaust pipes. Uh, nice looking, sportish. Not too much aggressive. Now let's check out the booth. I have to pull it. Uh, let's move away to show you the perspective of the car. So inside, let me just put away the keys. You have a deep storage uh, area. So look at this. This is like um, a lot. So. Uh, you have a little nets here, uh, bag holders potentially here, seats are divided, as you can see, 80-20. Um, this is the space, uh, you can have bag hooks over here as well. Let's close this, you have the FR badging. I like this blue color, it doesn't look bad, with the tinted windows on the back. Now, let's jump in the front and then we'll get in the back. On the front, you uh, have a nice design, although this is not soft, it's hard plastic, but uh, it looks robust. You have ambient lighting on the bottom. Uh, you have this, uh, this is kind of plastic, but uh, you know, it feels tough. Uh, of course, you can lock the rear windows for the kids. You have electronic operated mirrors. You have this little chromish details uh, operated mirrors heated and fold option lock and unlock the car from inside and you have the set uh, sound system and you have the uh, fr let me focus on that because it lights up you have the fr uh, aluminium doorstep which lightens up now let's jump inside now you have a nice door close sound uh, this is the steering wheel has a flat bottom with the FR you have a multifunction steering wheel commands voice commands a menu options for the little screen in the middle you have a nice speedometer that is like an Audi sort of uh, saying this is more of a sports car now uh, I've turned the light switches so I've put it on auto you can see it lightens up I'm gonna turn the contact just in a second. So let's move on on the dash. Uh, camera is playing with the lights, so uh, less of my hand. Uh, we have a nice touch screen, not sure about maybe six or eight uh, inches. You have the Seat FR logo rating you. Uh, you get the standard, actually, sad sound speakers. Uh, the speakers are, um, you know, okay. You have a touchscreen, a menu for the radio. Uh, you have here radio, media, navigation as well. Uh, okay, the SD cards are not inside. You have pictures, you have uh, AC controls. Uh, of course, you have to give it a contact. You can pair your phone. You have uh, vehicle information, uh, car settings as well. And um, this is for the uh, Apple CarPlay, Merrillic, or Android on your uh, car. Now, 
I'm going to pull up the key, uh, switch on the ignition, I mean not the motor, so you, so you just get the uh, looks of it. You can see the little screens in color, infotainment, um, I believe you can change view with this, uh, but the car needs to be turned on. So now maybe we can show the vehicle, uh, so you get a, you know, um, consumption data. Actually, this has some consumption data before it was driven. Uh, you have here uh, Eco Trainer, a lot of options. Uh, car system, okay, obviously needs to refuel. You can move back to the radio chain stations from here. Uh, you can go from here, set up your, uh, you know, um, tire pressure and sort of stuff. And, you know, now the AC is on, you can see the uh, graphic interface. Of course, you have manual buttons here. This is a Cooper, so you have a mode. Uh, and you can choose from individual, sport, uh, normal, or eco. Uh, I'm going to leave it in sports. It's a Cooper. Or you can individualize. You can, you know, uh, use here preferences. And you can, you know, set up to, let's say, the motor to sport, steering to sport, and air conditioned <laughs> to economical um, yeah now that's just an example of this uh, down on below there is a standard uh, automatic AC uh, you can go to uh, set up here it goes to the AC um, you have also heated seats from the front seats um, and it's easily uh, adjustable with your hands on reach of your hand uh, on the bottom you have this, uh, let me just turn off this, not to kill the battery, you have the uh, place to uh, leave your phone. On the bottom you have two USBs and AUX, which is really nice, so you have two USBs. Uh, we have six speed manual, uh, of course this is the reverse, um, feels good in the hand, um, nice, we have a leather with red stitches. Of course on the steering wheel you have a red stitches as an accent with the red uh, needles a uh, little place here maybe for your key or something similar uh, electronic parking brake and auto hold uh, cup holders and also space for some private stuff 12 watt socket charger um, wish this was covered but set is a cheaper cheapest um, you know entry car in the Volkswagen group of bug cars you have here a place maybe for your foot pen or you know um, some smaller storage area not don't think a bottle could fit in, fit in here but you have a nice armrest that does extend uh, has levels uh, it's a leather the seats I haven't uh, told you about the seats so they're part leather with red stitches and cloth uh, I like this pattern it looks nice it's not bad but inside a car this is hard plastic so it's not bad uh, you can, you know, uh, rest your arm here. Uh, you have sharp mirrors. This is sort of my driver perspective. And it looks nice. The mirror uh, doesn't have fin basil, but it's okay. You have uh, little red lights. Like in Skoda, you have white, so they project red lights in the night over here. Uh, you have standard yellow lights here. Uh, you know, switches, speakers on the top, privacy mirror. Hi, guys. A uh, little light and and to show you uh, the glove compartment there's a nice storage area this is plastic I uh, wish it was maybe some sort of carpeting that would be better um, you do have the two SD cards one for your music for your navigation and a CD player uh, it doesn't look like it has a cooled uh, storage glove compartment. Uh, as you can see, this is cloth, but this is just plastic. So there is a, let me show you, uh, this is plastic, so it can be cheap. Uh, also this could have been chrome, or something, not, not chrome, but aluminium. But um, those are some you know, expenses you have on your light switch here. You have this compartment which has a hole for some reason. And 
also just plastic. Uh, I guess it's more Spartan uh, because that is, in a way, a uh, steering wheel. You can, you know, adjust it to pull it out up and down. And I think we're gonna jump in at the back of the car. Uh, this is piano plastic, if you're wondering. It looks nice, but it needs fingerprints. And on the top you have a nice speaker, speaker here. Of course, one of the doors I showed you. Um, I'm gonna open the motor later, just to sit on the back of the car. Now, okay, closing sound. Uh, these are the doors. Now, let's jump in see the space so uh, the seat could have been pushed a little bit forward uh, but enough room for my knees as you can see on the bottom um, on the back you have AC which is nice uh, and you have two USB chargers so you can see the set is aiming at uh, younger people who are using their devices phones uh, I guess in a better spec you can get uh, uh, 40, 40, 20 divided, and um, um, you know, armrest in the back, which I don't have, and it's actually a lot of space for my head, uh, which is surprising. Um, nice view on the back. Uh, this is kind of feels cheap. Um, this switch, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you do have, you know, gear holders. And of course, on the front, I have enough space, which I forgot to show you guys. Uh, but the car is overall nice. Now, let's get uh, to the Cupra just to show you the interior difference. Now, the car is locked because it's sold and the owner uh, demand for that. So, uh, if you want to see this more in detail, you can. Check it out. I'm gonna put the link on the top from the car show because this is the same car. And uh, this is the Cupra, has 300 horsepower, uh, awesome looking, awesome wheels, nice skirt. Um, and I love the exhaust as well. Uh, it has, as you can see, this uh, aerodynamic tips, a bit better spoiler, uh, so you can see the Leon. Uh, the FR and the Cooper has uh, a lot cooler exhaust so let me just show you the front from this position uh, looking better uh, look more quality materials and definitely better and comfortable seats uh, if you were wondering this is the spec and that's the price tag which I'm gonna change to euros. And to wrap this video, I'm gonna show you the set known ST. This is the FR. This is the spec. And as you can expect, same interior, same seats. You get the aluminium top, you have the nice banner roof as you can see um, and to show you the booth of this car so you can just have a comparison to the other one um, so you have a flat bottom here which is nice for loading storage um, this is all plastic so it looks cheap uh, you can put the shutter here you know close this and just press it goes back see divided are divided uh, 40 40 20 uh, you can have this key hole you have a 12 watt charger here and you can pull this to knock down the seats you can hook your bags here as well and close this um, on the bottom also wheel pipe let me see at the back space now I haven't adjusted the front seat but okay I guess it's okay, but I feel like I have less space, but my head is touching this uh, cover for like a shade, uh, but it looks okay. So guys, um, to wrap this video because it's getting long, I forgot to sit in the front. Now, as you can see, a lot of space 
uh, even on the top more space in the front with the uh, panoramic roof um, as you can see looks the same actually this is the DSG I have noticed that so this is leather uh, you have chrome switch here parking uh, reverse drive and that's it so guys tell me in the comments below uh, do you like this actually I'm gonna both cars are petrol so to show you the engine in the middle just press uh, no dampener to uh, raise it up but this is the TSI as you can see and that's pretty much it guys I uh, hope you like this uh, quick comparison of the uh, Leon Cupra uh, FR uh, Plus and the ST and if you're new to the channel if you like this review give this video a like leave a comment below Just click that subscribe button click the little bell to get a notification when I upload a new video and I'm gonna see you in the next video stay safe on the go bye and guys for the end this is a registered car so I'm gonna show the plates you have the three-door version which has this accents uh, which are pretty cool also the back so this is Cupra 290 and it looks dope